Hi guys, this is Sam and welcome to Winglogic, where I help advanced English learners and teachers improve their English by analysing its logical and mathematical patterns. Today we have another grammar game, but before we continue, please don't forget to check out all my other grammar and logic videos over here. And now, let's get started. I'm going to give you six sentences where only one is correct, and the challenge is to find it and to correct the wrong ones. The sentences are... I waited long, but she never turned up. It takes long to get to her house. The meeting went on too long a time. She rarely stays a long time. How long are you here for? Since Monday. Sorry, I took so long. As a little experiment, I would like you to pause the video, come up with your own solutions, and then check if they match mine. And let's remember that there is a mathematical reason why these sentences are wrong, so saying that they don't sound good is not technically good enough for the purposes of this exercise. Usually, my students are very surprised when I give them the solution, so you might be as well, as the correct one is number six. Sorry, I took so long. Let's analyse the other ones, which are all wrong, one by one, and see how we can correct them. The reason why I waited long but she never turned up is wrong is that, as a general rule, we use long in negative and interrogative sentences, whereas a long time or for a long time in affirmative sentences. So the correct way of expressing this sentence would be I waited a long time or for a long time but she never turned up. We say, I won't stay long, not, I won't stay a long time. Have you been waiting long? Not, have you been waiting a long time? Long can be preceded by the preposition for, but it's actually extremely uncommon and heavy, so I would never really say, have you been waiting for long? I would say, have you been waiting long? By the same token, sentence number two is incorrect because it takes long to get to her house. It's an affirmative sentence, so we should say it takes a long time to get to her house. But whilst we can say I waited a long time or for a long time, where for is optional, we can't say it takes for a long time to get to her house. Why is that? In the first sentence, a long time or for a long time can be conceptually seen as an adverb, meaning that it's an element that describes the verb waited more accurately. It gives us more details about it, but it can actually be removed. I can say I waited, but she never turned up, and I would still understand the whole meaning of the sentence. In the second sentence, on the other hand, a long time is not an adverb, but it is a direct object of the transitive verb to take, meaning that a long time answers the question what. It takes what? A long time. And if I remove it, the sentence doesn't make sense. I can't say it takes to get to her house. Just to recap, when a long time is a direct object of a transitive verb, we can't use for before it. We've said that we use a long time for affirmative sentences, so why is the meeting went on too long a time incorrect? The pure and simple answer is that so, to, enough and as are only followed by long, resulting in the correct sentence being the meeting went on too long or for too long which explains why number six is correct, sorry I took so long, because long is preceded by so. And again, we can't say sorry I took for so long, because so long is the direct object of the transitive verb to take. We say I didn't sleep long enough last night and today I'm tired. For long enough exists, but it's extremely uncommon and we only ever use it in duration forms, such as I've been waiting for long enough and now I'm going home. However, it's still preferable to omit it. I would only ever say I've been waiting long enough and now I'm going home. She rarely stays long is incorrect because although the verb stays is affirmative, in English we have other elements that can make a sentence negative, such as negative adverbs, rarely, never, hardly, and pronouns, nobody, nothing, nowhere. We therefore say she rarely stays long and nobody stayed long. How long are you here for is incorrect and there is a very interesting way of correcting it. First, we need to analyse the two parts of the sentence independently. 
how long are you here for or how long are you here is a question about the future. So let's assume that you are here in London, where I am, and I'm basically asking you when in the future you're leaving. Since Monday is an answer about the past, meaning that it's an action that started in the past on Monday and it's still happening, which is why these two sentences can't logically be connected we have not one but two ways of correcting this sentence. If we want to keep the concept of the future, we say, how long are you here for? And we reply, until Monday, where until gives us the idea that I am here now and I'm leaving next Monday in the future. However, if you're in London now and I want to know when your action of being in London started in the past, I need to say, how long have you been here for? since Monday. This is a duration form created with the present perfect, have you been, and for or since, and it refers to an action that started in the past and it's still happening. We use since to talk about a specific point in time. I've been here since Monday means that I'm here now and my action of being here started last Monday. We use for to talk about duration. I've been here for four days means that I'm here now and my action started four days ago. Now, let's look at why sorry I took so long is correct and why people are often shocked when I tell them that it is. Most people get confused because they think that we can only use the construction to take someone time to do something, resulting in it took me two hours to reply to your text, which is indeed the most common and popular version that we use in everyday English, and I think that's what English exams expect you to use. But actually, we can also say someone takes time to do something, resulting in I took two hours to reply to your text, which I agree is not very common at all, but it's technically possible. An observation that I've made is that it took me two hours to reply to your text is by far the more common of the two options, especially because there is a verb after it. So it took me two hours to reply to your text. Sorrow took so long is not extremely common, but it is possible mainly because there is no verb after it. And if we did have one, I would say sorry it took me so long to reply. These are all the solutions to the game, but I want to bring one more element to your attention before we go. We've said that we use a long time in affirmatives and long in negatives and interrogatives, but actually, based on the verb and the meaning that we want to give, we can use for long and for a long time in negative sentences, but the meaning changes. Let's imagine that yesterday's meeting ran from three to four. If I say that she didn't speak for a long time, it means that a long time went by before she started speaking. She might have started at 3.50, meaning that 50 minutes, which is a long time, went by before she spoke. She didn't speak for long means that her activity of speaking was short, so she might have started at 3.15 and finished at 3.20, so she only spoke for five minutes. We didn't talk for a long time after the argument means that a long time passed between the argument and when you started speaking again, whereas we didn't talk for long after the argument means that immediately after the argument you still spoke, but not much. The problem is that not all verbs can logically have both options. If I say she didn't stay for long, that's correct because it means that her stay was short. But if I say she didn't stay for a long time, that means that a long time passed before her activity of staying here started. And this is logically very hard to understand. It doesn't really make sense. The interesting thing is that when we have a verb like stay that doesn't have a long time as a negative option, we actually prefer removing for because it goes back to being simply a negative sentence, like I won't stay long. Let's now review all the solutions of the game. Number one, I waited for a long time, but she never turned up. Number two, it takes a long time to get to her house. Number three, the meeting went on too long. Number four, she rarely stays a long time. Number five, how long are you here for? Until Monday. Or, how long have you been here for? Since Monday. And number six, which was correct from the very beginning, and it's, sorry, I took so long. 
And that's it for today. If you like this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and to subscribe to my channel down below. And please do let me know in the comments if your solutions matched mine and if you have any questions regarding this topic. And in the meantime, I will see you next week with my next video.